From biking to lighting, our 8 West stylist, Amanda Ruloffs, always finds something unique for mm -hmm. us. And today she's here with some great fab finds from a uh, special start. I know, it's kind of a grab bag today, but we have some really cool things that I'm super excited about. The first of which is an awesome bike bag. So if you think that the only way you can carry stuff around is in a backpack or in a basket, check it out. Wow, that is the stylish. cutest bike bag ever, right? Oh, yeah. Right. And the key with these is these are made by a company called Bontrager, which is really a high-end bike manufacturer. Mm -hmm. And they these, these bags have clips on them that are super sturdy. And if you have to get this particular rack that will go on the back of any mm -hmm. bike, but when you do, you can just clip these. It's super sturdy on the bike. Put your groceries in there, your books in there. Yeah, go to the library. Go to the library. Go on errands you have to run. Right. What a great way to work out and be economical at the same time. Yeah, you can take put your workout right. gear in there, head yeah. to the Y. And it's summer and everyone wants to save money. Right. Yeah. Right. So these are seventy this one is seventy four ninety nine. Okay. I got this at Kentwood Cycle Re. Um, actually, Joy Walzek, our uh, Skype reporter, this is her bike and her bag. So and we she know wrote that. it to work. Oh, today. she wrote it to work today, Yay! just to be part of the uh, so, part of the segment. And you can see this one's a little darker. It's a little uh -huh. maybe more um, simple. This is this very is girly. Maybe a man's bag. Oh, yeah. Right. They come in different shapes and sizes, different prices, obviously, but yeah. they're nylon, so they're weather resistant. Sure, they Amanda, expand. you can't even tell, and this is no normal bag, and really you have that dual function there, too, so it makes it even right. more practical. So. Yeah, you can just hop off your bike and you're good to go. So okay, we these love those. are awesome. I have never seen anything like this before. These are by, excuse me, I'll slip this down. These okay. are by a woman named Nancy DeYoung, who's mm -hmm. a local artist, and people might recognize her. She's been around for quite a while. Um, she has a studio on 29th Street, and she does a lot of ceramic work, a lot of personalized stuff, but I love these because it's a little bit nicer than sort of scratching on the back of a receipt. Hey, I'm home, or hey, pick me up at this time. Right. Um, these are tiles, and she, she personalizes them or has different motifs on them. Those have little flip-flops. Um, and you know, you just write your note. It comes with a stand. Those that's twenty dollars. This is a picture frame and it that's magnetic. And serves on paper too. Yeah, I Very mean, it's green just a thing to do. It's just a little bit more, you know, a step up oh, from yeah. the average trash right. that you know you exactly. have on your so countertop. Here we've been to our house before and well, seen that whole disaster too. going on. And oh, then yes. this one is this is um, a message board that could hang. I thought this could be cute for a dorm. It's just a yeah. little bit cuter than sort of the whiteboard thing. Yeah. This is magnetic too, so you could stick a photo on there. Whoops. And you can change Sorry. it up, which is really, really yeah. cute. Yep. Um, 35 30 I believe, for the um, picture frame. Okay. She has lots to choose from at her studio on 29th Street. I right. bet we'll she get that even information custom on our website. Well. And yeah. now this custom lighting. Okay, so this is more of a resource that I want to share with people. I love vintage lamps. You love vintage. I, I know do. you do. We just were talking about Amsterdam yeah. this week. I've gotten some great lamps. So there. here's the thing. There's so many awesome treasures you can find in antique stores, estate sales. But with lamps, you, get fi you find great lamps, but generally... Exactly. Lampshades kind of come in this condition, you know, because just, they're old. They're yeah, old. Yeah, they're 40 years old. Smoking for 40 years in a house can kind of yellow them. So it's. I've been mm -hmm. doing this for a long time, and just recently somebody tipped me off that Grand Rapids Lighting Center on 29th Street is a great resource for specifically drum shades, which are these round ones. Um, that are pretty stylish now, but also have a vintage look to them. This, these are both my lamps, and I looked forever for a, a shade for this one that was big enough, and this one is actually the actual proportion that you need. How much would a shade like that Oops. cost, Amanda? This shade, I'm not looks tall brand new when you put that oh, okay. on Okay, we'll hold it like yeah, so I really needed something that was tall enough, and shopping at Target or kind of the general places that I would look, I was really having a tough time finding the right style. So this was 57. Mm -hmm. They're a little bit, maybe a little bit more expensive, but they are a really nice shade, and they're fabric, and they have a nice light. And when you spend, you know, less on the lamp, you can maybe afford to go a little bit more. Uh, make a more of an investment on okay. the shade. Great. Well, great. So we'll have all the information gifts, on yeah. our website. Yeah, and yeah. we can find it. Good there. resource. We'll be right back. This.